your swing mechanics don't really matter. Let me rephrase that. They do matter, but they're not nearly the most important part of hitting. I'm DR Hitting, and I'm gonna change your mind on exactly what you should be thinking about when you hit. Don't get me wrong, hitting is not easy, but we make it a lot harder than it needs to be sometimes. So often, we get obsessed with the small mechanics and the small things of baseball. And when we think of small things, we sometimes forget the big things. I always say when we're off the tee, we should be thinking. That's a time when we try to get ourselves feeling right and understanding what our mechanics are doing. That's super important. We absolutely should think off the tee. But once we get off the tee, that thinking should stop. Mechanics go away. Again, if we really want to simplify this game, we have to think about the things that can make it simple for us. Once we go to front toss, overhand, machine, game mode, we no longer need to be worrying about mechanics. We have to worry about two things, timing and vision. These two things are the most important part of baseball. Timing, getting good timings, making sure I get to this launch position in time to hit the ball. Vision is making sure I see the ball. And don't get me wrong, this is way easier said than done, but instead of overcomplicating things with thinking about mechanics, how many players on the field, how fast this pitcher's throwing, all of these things, we're worrying about all of these uncontrollables, when in reality, all we have to control is our timing and our vision. If we do both of those things, we're on time and we see that ball, the results are gonna be great. So the real question is, how do I improve my timing? How do I improve my vision? Here are two drills or cues that are going to help you with those things. When it comes down to timing, you have to think about when I should get loaded. Here's a great cue to help yourself understand when your loading should start. So a great cue that always helped me was looking for when the hands of the pitcher separate. You'll see a lot of times in today's baseball, a pitcher like Nasty Nestor Cortez or Johnny Cueto will go up here and take their time to mess with timing. But Every pitcher is going to separate their hands nearly at the same time. So even if a pitcher's going here, here, I look for the hand separation, and that's where I start my load. That's a great cue you should be looking for. But we don't figure this out when we're up to bat. We want to have this all figured out when we're on the on-deck circle. When I'm on deck, your only goal should be is seeing when you load and if you're on time. I look for that pitcher separating his hands. Okay, I'm on time with the fastball. And we don't want to just work on timing in games, you have to understand your timing in practice. Whenever you see the pitcher loading, you need to load too. So if your friend is throwing you front toss, batting practice, machine, anytime you see movement that's coming to you, you got to make sure you're getting your movement ready to go to them. And this shouldn't be weak movement. We should be licking our lips. We have to think that we're on the attack. We're playing offense, not defense. We are attacking that ball. So for front toss, if they're getting reared back, ready to throw me this ball, I'm rearing back to hit this ball. Load early. It's way better to load early than to load late. If I load early and get to here, guess what? I can still hit this ball just fine. But if I'm loaded up here and I haven't got my foot down, I can't swing from right here. Making sure we load early and we're on time. So a great cue is to think, when they load, you load. When they load to throw me the ball, I'm loading to hit the ball. That briefly is going over what timing is. Now I'm gonna dive into one thing that I know can help with our vision. A great way I know that can help starting from the tee is making sure your head doesn't look where the ball goes, your head looks where the ball is. So instead of watching that ball every time we hit it, just see how far we hit it, how hard we hit it, I wanna make sure my head's on that ball all the way through my swing. So make that your number one focus. I'm here, I'm seeing this ball, I'm seeing this ball. Now, what we gotta do when there's no tee is the same concept. Take a ball, set it on the outside part of the plate. From here, after every swing, you don't look where contact goes, you look where contact is. You make sure you don't see where the ball goes and your head stays on that ball down. I know it might sound stupid, you've heard your whole life, keep your head on the ball. But guess what, if you can't see the ball, you're not gonna hit the ball. Do that ball drill for everything, for the tee, front toss, overhand, machine. Make sure it's a habit so when game mode comes, you're able to keep your head down. If you've ever watched Nolan Arenado, he does a terrific job of keeping his head on the ball all the way till contact. He did this because his dad got sick of him pulling his head every time he got done swinging. That's how we need to think. We have to make sure we create a habit so our head stays down so we see that ball all the way till contact. We have to make baseball simple. So often we make it hard. Focus on just these two things when you get past the tee and it's gonna make life on you a whole heck of a lot easier. Make sure you're seeing the ball, make sure you're loading early and on time. If we take care of these things, all of those hard parts of baseball, just get a little bit simpler. Hitting is really hard. We have to make it easy. I'm DR Hitting, thanks for watching.